This is what gets us in trouble, ladies. <laughs> look, you itsy bitty things. I mean, look at this wig. <gasps> look at this. Oh, so, this is just so tiny. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. You guys have probably already watched my hospital bag part one, which was me showing you what I'm packing for myself. Check it out for all of the things that you as the mama need to pack. So today I'm gonna to be showing you what I'm packing for baby O, as well as just giving you some sort of like tips of things to remember to get daddy to pack as well. Just like with the other hospital bag video that I did, depending on where you are going to give birth, you might end up like me getting some kind of guideline or something along those lines from the hospital. It's always helpful just to check what they are going to supply you and what they're not going to supply you with. As always, please remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell below and follow me on social media. Okay, so first and foremost, nappies. I am taking this pack of Huggies Gold with me. They are specifically size zero. Sometimes new mamas especially are like a bit confused about the size. I'm pretty sure this is what my hospital had given me last time when I had Kai and that's how we got onto Huggies to begin with. Personally, I prefer Huggies nappies over pampers. We've used Huggies, yeah, for years, ever since Kai was born. We did try um, some pampers in between somewhere, you know, when we got diaper bride presents and stuff like that, but we always reverted back to Huggies. And then in terms of wipes, I'm going to be sticking to pampers wipes. So yes, I mix things up, okay? I love the Huggies nappies, but I'm not such a fan of the wipes. I love the pampers wipes, but I'm not such a fan of their nappies. <laughs> So I have placed an order, a whole bunch of toiletries to be delivered. Haven't gotten them in time. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you a quick photo reference of which wipes I am bringing. I'm just gonna be bringing one pack. I really don't think that we need more than that. Okay, and then other toiletries. I got this really, really sweet hamper from Pure Beginnings. If you don't know about them, they're a great local brand. They're like 100% organic and everything. They actually sent me quite a few things and something for Kai as well, which is really sweet. But what I'm gonna be taking with me into the hospital itself. So they've got this baby bum cream. So I'm gonna be using this. And then they've got this body cream. It is from their probiotic baby range and it's fragrance free. So I'm using all fragrance free um, products on the baby. If you don't know, fragrance can be an irritant, um, especially for babies when they're first born, sensitive skin and everything. Even your cleanser needs to be like completely neutral, <laughs> basically. I know a lot of people are like, you know, obsessed with that new baby smell and stuff like that. So just check your ingredients to make sure it's all natural or just cut out fragrance completely. That's what I did with Kai and that's what I'm doing with baby O as well just so that it doesn't irritate baby O's skin. Then also from their probiotic baby um, range, I've got this sensitive cream wash, also fragrance free. And then something extra that they sent through to me is this little bag. Look, so it starts off like this and it turns into this little useful water resistant bag. How useful is this? So I'm gonna be packing this as well just so that I have a nice water resistant packet to put all of baby O's dirty clothes. I'm gonna be bringing these these cotton buds as well. They use these to, you know, clean the umbilical cord. And I also received some things from Nook. They sent through these little soothers. These are genius color, uh, gender neutral ones. Thank you, Nook, for remembering. <laughs> so these are like microwavable boxes that you can actually use to sterilize the soothers. They also sent through this cleanser. It's called a baby bottle cleanser, but you can use it also on like, you know, your soothers and things like that. Okay, so now for the cutie patootie clothes. This was something that as a first time mom, as a rookie mom, I didn't know, right? When it comes to sizes of baby clothes, you don't actually know exactly, obviously, how big your baby is going to be. With, you know, your consultations and things with your doctor, there's an estimation of how heavy the baby is, but you won't know until you actually have the baby, how big he or she is, how tall they are. So you might end up having almost three kilo baby, thinking that he or she's gonna be quite small, but um, they come out and they actually you have long legs. Just never quite know. With Kai's birth, I didn't know what the difference was between newborn size clothes and zero to three months clothes. So if you are a first time mom, you probably have the same question. What ended up happening with us was that we bought all zero to three months. We didn't buy any newborn clothes. And when Kai came out, he didn't fit any of them. So his legs were like maybe just a little bit shorter than zero to three months. But he weighed like 3.2 kgs, all normal and everything, but he was slender. So he was drowning in his 
his clothes, which was very counterproductive, obviously, because he was born in winter, he needed warmth, and he needed to, like, snuggle up and stuff. Kev actually had to go out and buy just some really cheap, simple onesies, those kinds of things from Ackermans, and even Kev's mom as well. She also came, I think it was, like, the following day with one or two things so that we can leave the hospital with things that he can actually fit into nicely. In terms of the weighting of the baby clothes that I have gotten for Baby O and that I'm reusing also from Kai's uh, wardrobe because, yeah, I am... I've got some new things, but most of them are hand-me-downs from Kai. I would say maybe about even 80% of uh, Baby O's wardrobe is zero to three months. And then the other is newborn. I found with Kai, he outgrew the newborn size after about a month and a bit. Newborn, for me, it was important. But again, you don't want to buy too many because then what if your baby comes out and the baby's too big? So I'm going to be bringing this. How cute is this? I got this from Woolies. I love the print and everything. Thing. this is right up my alley and what's also really nice about this is that it's got the two-way zip so it zips up from here and also zips down from here you know not all onesies are made like this okay I'm actually thinking about making that coming home outfit I don't know let me know what you think so I'm also gonna be bringing this just a plain plain gray um, good old onesie from Woolies and then I've also got this one this one's a vest from Ackermans I did do a haul on my Instagram it's under my baby prep highlight so click there and then you will see the video and baby can wear it with these leggings Then I've also got this newborn onesie then I'm also going to be bringing this little beanie. How cute is this? I'm gonna pack two beanies. So I don't think the baby is going to need socks necessarily because, you know, I've made sure that the leggings have feet as well as the onesies are all like full length just in case I am packing two pairs of little itty bitty socks. What I cannot find at the moment are mittens. How odd is that? I have looked everywhere. It was only recently that uh, a lady in one of the stores said, yeah, mittens don't seem to be set so they don't sell them if you have found some mittens <laughs> please let me know in the comments below because I'm, I know I'm not the only one I've had several mamas DM me on Instagram ask me where can I find mittens Aisha I have no idea where to find them for Kai we didn't really use mittens because he didn't really need them but I know that we did have some newborn and zero to three months onesies that had those little like flaps you know on the sleeve you can there's like a little pocket so just check when you are shopping for your baby if you can't get one of those then you save money you don't need the mittens anyway if you do end up having a baby that is going to be scratching their face or anything if by the time I have baby O I don't have mittens for baby O then I'm just going to use socks I mean what else can I do right I also got these onesies from keto how adorable are these? Um, so these ones were a bit pricier than what I usually spend on baby onesies. Each of these were 249 rand. Oh, I just love them. The inside of this is like fleece lined and it's just so warm. It's got some weight to it. The material's got some weight. So you can really tell it's great quality. And it is obviously a local brand. So supporting a local brand, especially right now, is really, really important. And then for when we finally take baby out, you know, from the hospital, into the car <laughs> I'm going to put baby in an extra nice warm fleecy layer I also got this from Ackermans and I'm also packing this this is a little hand-me-down from Kai. Kai's granny, uh, this is one of the things that she went to get for him because we realized that all of the stuff that we had bought him was too big. So she went out and got this. They got this from Woolies, but I mean, this was four years ago, okay? It is so nice. It's lasted. I mean, he wore this a lot. Okay. And then another thing, obviously, to remember for the baby is a blanket or two. Kai absolutely loves swaddling. If you don't know how to do it, like me, I'm like, I call myself swaddle challenge. Kev is like the swaddle man. Master, okay, he can take any blanket and figure it out. So what's great about these blankets? I think these are from snuggle time What's great about them is that you know, they've got this little pocket So you you know, you just put the legs there and then they've got these two flaps and it really is You just wrap one wrap twice. They've got velcro and then baby is wrapped. Obviously, it, it won't look like this There'll be a baby inside <laughs> Going back to swaddling. This is a least swaddle blanket now I've never actually seen this before I was so impressed with this I received this from lullaby raw they'd actually originally sent this to me last year I think it was for Kai but it was a bit too small for Kai so I was like I'm gonna keep it for baby oh <laughs> I absolutely 
love it. Look at this. Oh, this is so my style. This is so me. Like as soon as Kev saw it, he's just like, that is very us. <laughs> like exactly. This is so cute. I love it. This is going to be perfect as like a medium thickness blanket. Great little local brand that makes really good quality clothing. So check them out. I will put like little links to these stores in the description box below for a thicker blanket. I am bringing this. It was definitely a gift. Someone had gifted it to me. This is also hand me down from Kai. By the way, I, I can't see what it says on the label. We used it so much, but it's still in such great condition. It's warm. It's, oh, it's just really nice. We're almost at that point of the things that daddy should be responsible for. I've also made a list <laughs> so that they don't forget. Don't forget to pack and install the car seat. So it depends on what kind of car seat that you have. Um, ours is one of those that you just, you know, put in and uh, use the seat belt strap uh, to, you know, fix it in place. So yeah, so that's, uh, you know, an easy, easy thing. They love that stuff anyway, so let him do that. For the car seat, um, so my friend actually gifted this to me. So yeah, it's this little car seat cover. Actually kind of triples up as a nursing cover, a car seat cover, as well as a trolley cover. I haven't opened it yet because I want to open it, you know, when I'm actually putting it over baby's car seat. It's so pretty, the print is so pretty. So she got this for me from from Minamu Baby, another local brand. They've got really nice options in terms of design. The prints that they have are really, really cute. So I recently actually just chatted about stem cell banking on my Instagram TV and on my blog. So we did that with Kai's birth as well. And we knew obviously with baby O, we're going to need to do that. So check out that video because I go into much more depth about the whole stem cell banking service. Something that you should not forget once you have registered is the kit. So you have to remember to pack this because this is what you're going to be giving your doctor after your baby has just been delivered. Your doctor, he or she is going to use what's inside here to collect the stem cells that they need. So don't forget this at home. If you have to remember one thing, <laughs> remember this. So this is Kev's responsibility. He's already agreed. He needs to remember this stem cell storage kit. Okay, some other things that you can ask daddy to help with. And I need to consult my notebook because I don't have the actual things here. Spare clothes for himself. Baby is probably going to spit up, poop, something or another on him at some point. Insurance details, your medical aid details, your card, ID, your ID and his. This I'm saying especially for my fellow non-South African viewers, just in case. A copy of your marriage certificate. If you are given birth in a hospital like I did in a private hospital where they have a team from Department of Home Affairs, a lady who comes around who basically registers the baby baby's birth. Sometimes they do ask for your marriage certificate just to make sure everything's all good. A pen. I never leave home without a pen. So you're going to be filling out forms and you know how it is with a lot of places. They don't have, you know, the pen on hand. So it saves you time. And then also to register the baby's birth certificate. Home Affairs is always insisting on black ink only to so make sure you have at least one black pen with you. I'm going to tell Kev to just pack a whole bunch because we know we're going to be using it for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, all of the electronic necessities and things like that. Camera, charger for the camera, memory card for the camera. Make sure that you've got your phone, his phone, and a charger for the phone as well. Something else that we don't really think about, coins, change. Hospitals are old school, you know? There are very few, if any, that I've at least come across where you can swipe. To pay for parking, to get something from the vending machine, you need some like loose change around you. It'll come in very, very handy. So that's it for my hospital bag, baby and daddy edition. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you did in a comment below. Let me know if there are any um, items that you wish someone had told you that you need to pack for the baby and for hubby as well. Drop it in a comment below. This is especially going to be useful for the first time mamas or even the mamas who you know aren't first time moms but they just haven't done this in a while and have kind of forgotten some things. And as I mentioned, I did do a separate video for all of the things that mommy needs for the hospital bag. So do check that out. I will put the link um, in the description box below as well. And all the best mamas. We are almost there. Wherever you are in your journey of pregnancy, you are almost there, okay? Check me out on my social media. If you're not following me already, please do. While you're here, watch some of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell below. And I will see you in the next video.